I'm Ben. I'm Tony. Welcome to Garage, Garage time. time. Or as our wives say, a waste of time. In today's video, we're going to pull the skid out of the 146. We are going to take it apart and check out the pieces to it. When you're pulling out your skid, you're going to want to make sure to take the tension off of your back axle. So you'll loosen this bolt and the one on the other side. You'll loosen that and then just take the tension off of here and the other side. And you don't want to use an impact. Do not use this. <laughs> don't ask <laughs> me how we know. <laughs> yeah, we learned the hard way. So yeah, just use um, either a ratchet or a ratchet wrench. Yeah. Um, and go slow. Yeah, just take your time. Especially, this one looks like it's a little bent, so just be careful. Yeah. So yeah, take your time, loosen the track, and then the skid will come out a lot easier. One hour later. The skid out of the sled is kind of a pain in the butt because these are inside here. And what happens is you put one bolt in one side and the other. So when one's tight, it just spins inside. Quick tip on taking the skid apart. Um, once you get the nut or the bolt loose, it'll end up spinning on you both sides. So you get one side out, you take a 13 millimeter wrench, you put it over the bolt, tighten it back down, and then you can loosen the other side. And the idea being is you can basically use it as a lever. So as I'm loosening this, I'm pulling back on this wrench, giving a, putting a bunch of force behind that in order to keep it from spinning inside. And that allows you to take out not having that side in, that side comes out. Yeah. Pulling these off is not an easy thing to do. Yeah. It's like just annoying. It's not hard. It's just frustrating. So, so. now what we're going to do is we're going to strip all this down because we're going to get our rails powder coated. You see the high fax is kind of meant. Yeah, and these are yeah. kind of skewed a little bit. And you can tell this was uh, in the Midwest because it's rusty. Yeah. And some of these. These front bogies are like way yeah, chewed up. Have to replace this guy. I'm gonna have to replace this bogey. Yeah. Figure out how the rear, rear goes. Okay, this has got a little bit of a wobble. Yeah. And then we are gonna we're gonna put some bogies up here, um, so that if the track is loose, it can't come back and get stabbed into here. So they, you know, they just have the, these bogies up here. Part. Um, rails are stripped down just because they're kind of beat up we are gonna powder coat them we're still debating whether we do black or a different color um, it's mostly just taking stuff apart there's very little skill um, the front bogies were rusted on or I don't know what do you think rusted rusted yeah so I I pressed them out it wasn't a huge deal. Um, we got everything apart. Other than these bogies, everything looked pretty good. Yeah. The other thing you have to press out. Oh yes. Is the yeah. T motion. The T motion uh, ball bearing. Um, ball was that bearing. Yeah. I don't know where it is. It's in the bag. Bang. Labeled T motion. Yeah. <laughs> Little T motion. So that's another thing. We just got Ziploc bags. So we labeled everything. What it is. Yep. important stuff but uh so yeah, yeah. We're, we're hopefully gonna powder coat this stuff all that stuff and strap in but yeah. we're putting it on the Number loosest setting. setting that we can or maybe other thing we do is we're gonna replace the high facts oh yeah high facts is cooked 
Yeah. Um, the other thing to note, um, a lot of people will always inspect in the back, but on our sleds, the, if you inspect up here, yeah, that's the wear point. Right. So like, if you inspect back here, everything looks good. And then if you get up to the front. Yeah, this is like, because there's these bogies here, but nothing yeah. really right here. So this that's is really where, where that's really right the wear spot. Yeah. So that's where you should take your measurement. So we used, we needed a 17, um, 13, 10. Uh, you need a Phillips head screwdriver. There was a couple of them that were 5.8. Five eight. Five eight. Um, or 16 millimeter. Yeah, they, there was some 15s in there. There was 15. 15. And then uh, to take out the T-Motion, you needed uh, snap ring snapper ring pliers. And oh, Allen wrenches. This one is a six millimeter and three, three millimeter. millimeter. And then an eight millimeter for the one. Yeah, there's cross one member. support thing in here. It's uh, also, eight millimeter for the little stuff that holds on the high facts. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then, and then oh, drill it out. And you got to drill out the rivets. Yeah, there's some like bump stops. And those we just drilled out using the vice grips. Yeah. Those are all the tools we use. And pry bar always helps. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, post us a comment down, down under. There. See you next time.